my job up till yesterday was actually getting people together, physicians in particular, so that they can come from all different areas of specialties to help out and care for medical patients who have COVID. And we're taking people from every aspect of the hospital, every specialty. We have ophthalmology, dermatology, plastic surgery, vascular surgery, and just every aspect. Doctors are coming from all different areas to help out. Can you describe how vicious this disease is? I think this virus brings out the best and the worst of what we know. The virus itself, when it makes people sick, it makes people very sick. We're seeing everybody who comes in um, have issues with respiration, with breathing, shortness of breath, and it's not easy because we're learning about this in real time. To me, that's the most difficult part of the whole thing. We spend our entire careers as physicians studying, learning, understanding. And here, we're trying to get the information in real time. We're getting to a point where we're really almost entirely caring for COVID patients. And what's been happening is our ICUs keep expanding and our non-medical floors are turning into medical floors, by and large caring for COVID patients. We're utilizing every space, even potentially if we need to use an operating room for an intensive care unit. But we will figure out how to get through the surge of patients coming through. What has it been like for you uh, personally seeing all this sadness and, and loss? For me personally, it's been very difficult because I put a lot of myself forward to my patients. I like to connect with them. To me, the greatest part of being a doctor is being able to care for people when they're most vulnerable. And this is a time of incredible vulnerability. But we're vulnerable too. We're human beings and we're susceptible to this just like everybody else. And although there is that concern and that stress that we have and the anxiety all healthcare workers have, being on the front lines and being able to actually fight this thing in the battlefield, I mean, medical professionals are the soldiers in this war. And being part of that and feeling like we're trying to make a difference in people's lives in this terrible virus feels very gratifying. I just wish we had more tools, but I know the brilliance of the people working on this, the clinical trials, the scientists and the clinicians, everybody together. We're gonna to figure this out. And right now, being able to at least make a little difference makes a big difference. I witnessed something today where we have a patient on the floor who's very sick, will likely die today. And his wife, who also is in her 80s, came in and sat next to her husband and she herself is not feeling that well and said goodbye we allowed her in we put the appropriate mask and gown on her just like one of us coming in because we knew how important it was she was crying and she thanked me she thanked all the healthcare workers recognizing what a tragedy this is but she still was grateful that we were there for her and for her husband we had to escort her out and sit her down we were worried she might actually pass out in the presence of her husband. She was so overwhelmed with grief. And that's the part, that's the human tragedy part of this that people have to understand. Good news is most people do just fine, but the ones that don't, it's tragic. And although we're working as fast as we possibly can, the best thing to do is prevent this in the first place. What's been amazing is how everybody has bound together in the medical field, everybody, doctors and nurses, social workers, transports, and the nurses, they're like the angels of healthcare. They are so kind and compassionate to the patients who are feeling so frightened and so lonely. But there are so many unsung heroes like Carlos. He's one of the housekeeping specialists who disinfects everything, cleans everything. Everyone knows him on the floor. And I stopped when I took a photo and I thanked him. He was so grateful. I think people forget that everyone who steps in the hospital are putting themselves on the front line, along with every doctor and nurse and every other healthcare professional. We are literally all in this together. And I'm so grateful for everybody, from the person who serves the food to the person who's handing me my protective gear. We're all in this together, and they are risking just like we are. When you see and hear people cheering those healthcare workers in New York City, every night at 7 p.m. You can't even see who's cheering. You open the windows and you hear it emanating from everywhere. Like a professional sports championship team 
my wife Sherry is also a physician, to know that everybody recognizes what we're doing. It is so gratifying, but what's even more gratifying, the, per the person who is cheering the loudest is my son right behind us. And you realize that you're really doing something that is making a difference in this world. And even though this is so tragic, I think when the smoke clears and we get through the storm, we're gonna remember as physicians, as professionals, just how great a profession it is and what it means to care for another human being.